So welcome to my review. Today I have just received my new Powerfang UV5R5 is the 2015 version of the most famous Chinese so brand. Powerfang is the most famous Chinese brand at the present time. So let's see. The box is really well I don't know actually how to open it. Ah here it is. Thing. Very nice. Transceiver uh VHF UHF. So the box is really well made. Here there are the um uh, instruction how to use this nice delete this nice VHF as you can see here there is the the wrap containing the bow fan. It's really really not heavy. Here the battery I would remind you is um 1800 million per 7.4 volts and let's check again there is a tiny problem here but I don't think it's a problem so the antenna I think it's a short very short one so it's a classic VHF antenna yeah, there is written. I don't know if you can see. I can write for you FM 136 to 174 VHF and 400 to up to 520 megahertz for the UHF. And here there are plenty of accessories. So there is the charger. Uh, input is up to 240 volts. EU, EU adapter so with a uh, attach for the power fan. and here there are the headset I prefer always the microphone bell. so the clip belt and the battery charger for for the bow thing. So let's open it. Let's see again. Here we have the bow thing VHF. Very nice, as you can see. Thin. The battery 1,800 million per. So here you can change. One, four, five, six, zero, zero. Get English. Very nice display. When you transmit. I noticed that it's going to the Umbra display. Channel yeah. mode. Frequency mode. So here you can change the frequency. Channel mode. mode. And this is the memory. You can you can switch the P to the UHF. So now it's PHF, UHF. The call is here. So Menu. Uh, the menu, the use of this power fan is quite easy. Uh, you can mode. you can access to the memory just clicking on the green button. You can use the PTT mode to transmit, and it will change as you can see the display. You can also uh, modify the color of the screen when it transmit. You can also modify the second. Um, of how many I mean how many seconds the display should be uh, should be uh, on before it turn off this is the call and if you want to transmit the tone you should press the PTT button together with the call and here you have the money if you press one you have the the probe the um, the strobe light as you can see or you can have the fixed torch and if you press for a longer time, two seconds, you will have the squelch. So with this button A and slash B, you can switch the um, VHF to the UHF. 
and uh, now we are okay now we, we are on the VFO so uh, we can adjust the frequency uh, just clicking on the arrow as you can see the step you can change the step menu. just change just clicking on menu and here you have uh, many memories to be fair with you so you can change the transmit led to orange to green to any other color you can change the rx led now it's set up to blue then you have the uh, the memory channel the offset when you want to transmit as well the shift minus and plus uh, this is other function to be fair you I have to read exactly all the memory all the instruction um, This is the PT, PTT ID that I understood is a special feature from Baofeng So you can also transmit only to selected devices and you can uh, uh, Modify this PTT ID only by computer um, so You have the voice you can change the voice from England English to Chinese this is the CTCS, uh, DCS, and uh, many uh, other functions. The beep. So if you want to to have this fastidious thing, it's quite strange. I don't like it. So let's uh, remove it. And then you have the TDR. It is the dual watch feature. ABR is the dimmer. How, how much dimmer should be the screen? And then there is the transmission FM mode, so wide or narrow. And then you have the box uh, off on. Um, uh, this is the the feature about the power, so you can uh, change to low to high. The step, each step is available. There is no problem to change it. The SQL. Uh, this feature has been improved. It's also been a bug for the Baofeng radio, but I believe now the things changed. The Baofeng say always that it should be to set to five. So I think Roger, this is the beep, is the beep at the end of each transmission. I don't like it. It's very citizen band. So uh, I think this is the most important feature of this Baofeng radio. As you can see, it's very is not so thick, it's about 200 grams, very nice antenna. I believe it's, it's a nice, nice antenna for 30 bucks worthwhile to buy it. Thank you.